Good day! We are from BAPR to One and Group One. I am Arian Lampos. I am Rodaline Sanandres. And I am Francis Pinyasa from the Department of Foreign Affairs. The Philippines Department of Foreign Affairs is the executive department of the Philippine government. It is tasked to contribute to the enhancement of national security and the protection of the territorial integrity and national sovereignty. It has been established since June 23rd in the year 1898. DFA's main service is to provide passports that certify the identity and nationality of its holder, primarily for the purpose of international travel. Its mission is to promote and protect Philippine interests in the global community. Its vision, a resilient foreign service for strong Philippines. The Department of Foreign Affairs has its core values, patriotism, integrity, professionalism, excellence, and service. Numerous countries, including the Philippines, started issuing biometric passport in the year of 2011. E-passport contains an embedded microchip, making them machine readable and difficult to counterfeit. The embedded microchip contains biometric information that can be used to authenticate the password holder's identity. It is found in the lower center of the Philippine passport. In availing the e-passport, you simply have to 1. Visit passport.gov.ph and schedule your appointment. 2. Pay your passport processing fee at any authorized payment centers. 3. Print out the confirmed appointment packet that would be emailed after you have paid the passport processing fee. 4. Personally show up at the DFA Consular Office on the date and time indicated on your appointment, bringing with you your approved copy of the confirmed appointment packet. And also, don't forget to have the accomplished form, PSA issued birth certificate, your IDs, and your supporting documents. As an advantage, the e-passport guarantees to secure its holder's information, as well as to avoid passport reproduction and tampering. Through e-passport, fast clearances of travelers and immigration checks are made possible. It also provides travelers with benefits such as the use of automated border clearance or e -mates. In 2018, the government implemented a budget of 3 billion, 112 million, and 128,000 pesos for e-passport. From 2011 to 2013, the average number of appointments is 1 million. In 2014 to 2016, 1.5 million number of appointments were done. While for the next two years up to the present, 2 million and counting appointments are done. In 2017-2018, over 3,112,128 number of passports were issued. The Department of Foreign Affairs has served a large number of Filipinos. The Philippines e-passport is also one of the lowest price of its kind. The e-passport is available for 950 pesos to be issued within 25 working days. Meanwhile, Rush processing of e-passports cost 1,200 pesos with an issuance of 15 working days. We recommend to highlight the information of DFA's e-passport to a friendly user web page. Information highlights such as what are e-passports about, the countries using biometrics, and its benefits like the use of e -bits. Also, through the web page and inquiry section is our recommendation that is responsive to help each citizen. We also recommend to boost its social media postings in Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter containing information and updates about ePassport and the whole Department of Foreign Affairs. Once again, we are from the Department of Foreign Affairs preparing you for your travels.